Hello Daisies, my name is Jessica Gonzalez and I am a Program Specialist at our Hoyoke Leadership Center. This week, we're going to work toward earning your Respect Authority pedal. And to start, we're going to read Jerry's stories together. Alright, this is going to help us learn more about what it means to respect authority. So step one is going to be complete. Enjoy Jerry's story, then talk about it. Then you're going to do step two and step three on your own, okay? Step two is to visit someone who has authority in your community. Step three is to practice respecting authority. So since we can't really right now go make any visits to someone of authority in our community, we can write a nice thank you note though. So that might be a good idea for step two. And there are also some more ideas on your badge instruction sheet. And then practice respecting authority. That can be done at home, right? We can say thank you to mom and dad. We can help them with bringing a grocery bag in or sweeping the floor or wiping down our placemats. There's a lot, a lot of things we can do at home to respect authority, okay? All right, let's enjoy Jerry's story. Playing by the rules. Beep, beep, Lupe honked the horn of her pedal-powered car. Time to go to school, she called out. I'm driving everyone today. The flower friends rushed out of the daisy flower garden and climbed into the car. Fasten your seatbelts, Lupe reminded everyone, but the flower friends were too busy giggling and joking with each other to pay attention. Hey everybody, we need to listen to Lupe, Jerry said. She is our driver, and she is just trying to make sure we are safe. You are right, Jerry, Clover said. The rest of the flower friends nodded and fastened their seatbelts, but before they had gone three blocks, Rosie told a joke that gave Mary and Zinni a fit of giggles. Tula and Sunny started singing their favorite song as loudly as they could, and V pulled out a drawing she had made for class and began waving it in the air for the others to see. Please, Lupe said, I have to focus on my driving. Once again, no one heard her. Heard her. Jerry clapped to get their attention. Lupe asked us to be quiet, she said. It's important that we follow her rules while we're in the car. That's right, Lupe said. It's the same way that I have to follow the rules of the road, like stopping at a stop sign. A few minutes later, they arrived at Petal Elementary School. The flower friends walked up the sidewalk to where a crossing guard stood. Please wait until I tell you it's safe to walk, she said. We will, Jerry said. We know it's your job to make sure we wait until the cars are stopped before crossing the street. That's right, the crossing guard said. I'm glad you understand that our rules keep you safe. She looked up the street, then she looked down the street, then she held up her sign to tell drivers to stop their cars. Okay, flower friends, she said. It's your turn to go. Thank you for waiting. The flower friends walked into Petal Elementary School. Miss Evergreen, the principal, stood at the door. She smiled at all the students running past her. I'm glad no moving past her, excuse me. I'm glad no one is running in the halls, she said. I would be upset if any of my students slipped and fell down. After all, I want you to learn and have fun while you're at school. You can't do that if you're hurt. We know, the flower friends called out, we'll be careful. And as they went to their classrooms, Jerry added, and I know that we'll have a great day. All right, so respecting authority means that when someone like an adult or a school principal or a firefighter or a police officer or maybe even your parents or your grandparents ask you to please do something to keep you safe. So maybe they tell you to wear your seatbelt in the car or they ask you to please not cross the street until the crossing guard has told you it's okay to cross. That means that they are asking you to respect authority and they want you to say, I understand that you're trying to keep me safe and I'm going to do what I need to do to be very, very careful and listen. So if mom or dad or grandma or auntie asks you, please don't do that, you might get hurt. A way to respect authority would be to say, okay, thank you, I understand, okay? Or if someone asks you, could you please help me pick up these books? And maybe it's your teacher or your principal. You could say, sure, I can help you. That's a way to respect authority and be kind and helpful, okay? So it's very important. A lot of these people are out there to keep us safe and we wanna make sure that we always listen and stay safe.